He's on his way over. So we were talking about before, before Jonathan Morbitz came on uh, Oracle. A lot of people think that 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 uh, we don't like Oracle. You know, just the opposite, right? I we, love Oracle. Yeah, I love Oracle Valley. too. I got three yeah. big buildings, and they employ a lot of people. And, and and Larry Ellison to me is is one of the most charismatic, brilliant figures in our industry, if not the most. And uh, love Oracle. Now, I mean, I'm, I'm not trashing Oracle. I love Oracle. I love what they've done. I love what they're doing. We're just keeping an eye on. Very them impressive. And they have the ability to kill innovation. Well, and and, so, and plus they are sticking it to a lot of customers that I know. They are and, pissing and, off a lot and of and their I customers, the, I holding, think, holding them hostage. What did Wilson say? Putting a gun to you, you, uh, you know? no longer do you have to lo load the gun and then hand it to Oracle, right? What did, what did he mean by that? What he's talking about is is you're gonna you're gonna keep paying them and they're just gonna keep they're, jacking up the prices and extracting rest. Put it and you know head. what? That's what that, you know. That's, it, you know that, that's what happens when you have absolute power, right? Yeah, you're gonna I you're mean, gonna do that. So, you know, power to Oracle. I don't I don't have any you know um, hatred at all no, for Oracle. However, I love Larry. however, I will tell that's you this: right. that they they are really sticking it to a lot of my customers, and and I feel like we've got to be advocates for those customers. Yeah. I I've, I recently wrote a blog and said, if you want to negotiate with Oracle, you better bring your best and brightest. You better treat Oracle negotiations like a project. And you should be doing things like Hadoop to try to find ways to reduce your reliance on I think, that. I think, because you know, that's a good point. I've been hearing that consistently. I know that you've been advising through your research, open research, uh, open source research, some things in the back room or in the wiki that you're doing where how to negotiate an Oracle license because I'm telling you, it's a big effing deal because they can actually, with the licensing policy of their licenses, could actually stunt innovation within an enterprise. Yeah, well, the number one question I get from Oracle customers is can you help me with pricing? Can, can you help me get a break? Right, because what Oracle will do is they will audit you and, and viciously they'll go in and present you a bill. It might be 200,000, might be 2 million. So they pay up. And Oracle's very aggressive like that. Many other of their competitors are not. They don't. Yeah, so we, we've, we, um, we went on a, on a tweet tear last week. Just some random thoughts. Just talking about, look, if you want to negotiate with Oracle, you better bring your big guns. You better treat them as a project. Um, now, here's my recommendation for folks that you know, especially those, those, those customers wanting to go VMware. Oracle will come in and they will say, look, why do you want to go VMware? If you do that, you're going to, we're going to, you're going to spend more on they, Oracle the licenses. Clients, they think they're saving money by going with VMware. Which generally they are, except when they get to the license part of it with Oracle, Oracle's going to charge you per VM. And you're going to kick and scream and you're going to say you can't do that. And they're going to say, oh yeah, we can and we will. What are you going to do? That's go to DB2? Loaded, that's the loaded gun. If you're not prepared to move to an alternative like DB2 and be serious about it, then Oracle's going to continue to extract rents. So you want to negotiate with Oracle? you got to get serious. Spend some money on finding some alternatives. It's like yeah. the old Amdahl coffee cup, right? You remember yeah, that story? Yeah. The IBM sales rep would walk in, they'd see an Amdahl coffee cup on the on the table, they'd save a million bucks. Okay, guess who's in the house? Doug 